again, Andy here, Kent Survival. Out today just to do a bit of a field test of another ration. I've got the uh, Russian National Guard individual meal set here in its nice camo packaging. So uh, let's get this out and have a look. Well, here it is, the um, Russian National Guard ration. Uh, it's got a nice carry handle on there. It looks resealable, it's got a tear strip down the bottom there. Finished in a nice camo. Um, if you speak or read Russian, that's the contents. Um, I think, I've had this a little while, I think um, I've got it written down what's in here. Uh, but you know me, pretty unprepared with these rations. I like to be surprised. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get straight into this one, I think. Tear it down here. And yeah, yeah, it is resealable, so the bag is uh, useful. And your cardboard inner, which will open that way. So this pack is uh, 1,344 calories apparently, and it's 0.75 kilograms in weight. So it's pretty light. I do like these individual meals. They're easier for me to kind of do field tests of. Um, yeah, let's have a little look what we got here. Just stick that there, send to put things on. I uh, couldn't find my um, mess tray, so uh, <laughs> apologies for that. We'll uh, be playing it by ear. So we've got um, our army biscuits, wheat army biscuits, I believe. Quite a few of them, two packs of eight. This is the stove. Ah, and I was hopeful of this. I'll bring you in. So this is one of the new stoves, and if you saw a video I did, one of my first ever videos, I made some uh, self-lighting fire starters. These are like that, so they've got like a match tip on a hexi tab, and you've got a striker in there, and then that's the little stove as well. So I've been looking forward to trying one of these. I do have the um, older one with me that I got out of a 24-hour uh, ration. So you can see it's a little bit of a smaller stove, and you've got the self-lighting bricks. This is from a 24 hour one by the way, and you get the same amount of uh, hexi tabs. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> so that's our stove. We've got some uh, black tea. This I believe, and it looks to be true, is eggplant caviar. Uh, I forget exactly what they call it. A um, bit of a delicacy in Russia I believe. So that's kind of, um, instead of like a pate or something. This is our main, um, it's a barley porridge with beef, and uh, I think the cow on the pack there confirms that. <laughs> so this is um, quite standard for your uh, Middle Eastern and Russian kind of rations. You get kind of these grains and meat together, and these kind of stews, good for the uh, cold weather. Well, this looks to be sugar. I may be surprised. Will I find out? Oh, it has got a spoon. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's reinforced there. These will be our wipes. Uh, hygienic wipes, I believe. This is our tool for opening the uh, pouch or tin, whatever you'd like to call it. I think, I hope, this is apple jam, so that'd be nice with them uh, crackers. This should be our salt and pepper. Standard napkin. Just one. <laughs> and just some literature. And these will be our water purification tabs. So you could uh, bring that bag back, fill that, and I would assume, this is what they normally do, this would be enough to, dis, uh, to um, purify enough water that fills this bag. I may be wrong on that, but that tends to be the case with these things. And just some Russian literature on the bottom there. So first things first, we're going to get this uh, stove and hexamine tabs out. Easier said than done. Do that with cold hands. 
There we go. You can see that's just one of them uh, little fold out stoves. If we can get it. There we go. Kind of stuck to the packaging there. There's them little uh, hexi blocks, the little fire lighter strip on. Looking forward to these. Which is probably a bit sad. <laughs> and just our striker. So this will be enough for this little pack. Just got some uh, water to heat and that uh, tin to heat up as well. So with these, I believe, you uh, bend some down and some up. So it gives you something to uh, rest your meal on there. I'm going to use the uh, Polish mess tin with this. Uh, I believe the Russians have used a similar one in the past, so uh, I thought why not. So let's give this a go. it appears to have taken. I'm just going to level my stump here before I put the water on. My mess tin's just a little heavy for this stove so I'm just going to put two wooden blocks here that I've just cut and just balance it above there. Seems stable, we'll see. <laughs> So while that heats up, I'm just going to uh, give my hands a little wipe with one of these quite generous wipes. Yeah, you can see, <laughs> muddy, playing in the woods. And uh, the main's boiling away there, so I thought I'll get out this aubergine or eggplant, depending on where you are in the world, caviar. these crackers which are unfortunately a bit broke you may hear the wind blowing the um, the fuel tab there Let's just give these a little go they are just normal crackers this is very soft I actually expected this to be a bit um, a bit more pate like a bit more firm there you go that's not too bad. Hmm. It's okay, actually. I'm making the assumption that you uh, have this cold. Kind of makes sense to me. I guess you could warm it up if you wanted to warm yourself through on a cold day. It's quite salty. So I guess it's got carrots and onions and tomatoes in there as well. Hmm. It's not bad. Let's give this, I'm hoping, apple jam a little go. Just to have a tear notch. Certainly looks like an apple jam. Give you a look at that. Oh, that's really good. Hmm, I really like that. I'll have a little bit now. I'll save some for for dessert, so to speak. Mm. Yeah, that's absolutely lovely. Mm, I wonder if you can get this on its own. That'd be nice. Right, I'm going to put this aside for now. I'm going to eat some of this with these crackers, and uh, the main should be ready imminently. I think we should be done enough now. So I'm going to get out our meal. I did use an extra hexi tab, I must admit. So I used all three and an extra one, but I did boil quite a lot of water. 
So I'm going to do something a lot of people don't like. I'm going to use the uh, water I boiled the pouch in to uh, make the tea. So that's our tea. Just a normal black tea bag. And I think I need my gloves on. Because that little uh, mess kit is a bit warm. There we go, and as I assume this is the sugar, we shall see. That's sugar, so uh, well, I like quite a lot of sugar, so quite hard to uh, estimate how big this uh, cup is that comes with the mess kit. There is a tiny little bit. Ah, sod it. We're at camp, it doesn't matter. So just leave that to go for a minute. There's no uh, whitener in here or anything. And we'll use our tool, which I believe you're supposed to just go around the outside with it. like so. Now in the past when I've had this style of, of main in uh, Polish and stuff, they tend to put the meat on the bottom with your uh, grains on the top. And I guess that's so the meat definitely gets heated through if you've got it over the stove. But this looks a bit more mixed in than usual. Yeah, a bit more mixed in after I've said that. So that's quite nice, quite a, a soft kind of falling apart beef there. It's not very moist. Let's see, let's get some beef on there. Give you a close up on that. Well straight off the back I'm going to say salt and pepper. <laughs> I've got it to temperature but only just I think. Not too much salt. And the pepper. Too a bit of hot sauce wouldn't go amiss in this. Just get that mixed in there. I'll just give that another go. Get some beef on there again. That's better. It needs the salt, and the pepper helps too. Hmm. It's not too bad now. It was very bland before, but it's quite edible now. Now I'm wondering if this works. Because it's so dry, could uh, be like a bit of a sauce. I suppose if you heated it up, you could even add them together. Hmm, um, not too bad actually. I think if this was heated up, you could mix this in and have quite a nice moist meal. Let's get to this tea. I'm sure it's pretty hot. So there is our tea. No whitener. Possibly I added a bit too much sugar, but I don't mind. Yeah, that's um, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind tea with um. No milk or whitener. Alright, so I am going to go the full shebang here. We have some of our aubergine caviar and our beef and grains. Yeah, it definitely does all go together. Um, I'm kind of wishing I did heat this up to mix in now. I think that would be quite nice. Now, I wonder if we've got a big enough piece of meat to kind of try it on its own. I think I've had the bigger bits already. Yeah. This would um, definitely be enough to fill you up and uh, warm you up on a, on a cold day of exercises or whatever. Your main 
your side, your drink. I suppose a soft drink would have been nice that you could have kind of during the day before or after you have your meal. But um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Definitely going to finish this off. Well, with the main and the side finished, I'm just going to finish my tea. And uh, have some more apple crackers as kind of a little dessert. I've not minded this one, not too bad. Wouldn't want to pay too much for it, but um, let's say it's a good meal. I'd take it camping or something, certainly. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's the Russian National Guard ration. Um, menu number three, I believe. And uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. So uh, sorry it's been so long since the last ration review. I know you guys like them. Bon appetit.